I know a lot of you guys love to do some street photography as well. And I got some questions about what gear do I bring with me when I'm out there. Also a little bonus at the end of this episode for people who also like to record themselves when they do some work. So a quick episode about that. Let's go. Welcome to another episode of Let's Talk It Over. First, the cameras. I've got a silver and a black M6. The silver one is always filled with some color film and the black one with some black and white film. Both cameras got a Voigtlander 35mm on it. The silver one is the version 2, but it's the same glass, just a different housing. If you want to see my full review about this lens, I'll put a link down in the description. It depends on what I'm shooting though. If I know that I am only shooting one type of film and I don't want to bring a backpack with me, I just bring one of them. They are both equipped with a very thin strap and I like these the most, easy to wrap around my wrist and it's not too noticeable. The silver M6 has a shorter version than the black one. I have this set up so I can carry them both if needed, like the longer one over my shoulder and the shorter one on my chest. With that comes the film that I shoot. I always carry these film cases with me, of course separated again with black and white and color film. They hold 5 films, which is most of the time enough, but if I'm going for a longer period I might want to put some extra rolls in my backpack or just take a break with me. For color film, as you might know, I shoot Portra 800 and for black and white film I shoot Ilford HP5. I always push HP5 two stops to 1600 to get that nice contrast and grain, but also to be able to shoot at higher shutter speeds. Next up is my flash and my flash cord. Always have these with me if there is no light to work with. I recently did an episode about how to set up flash for film photography, so if you're interested you know where to find it. I love this flash because it's simple, easy to bring with you and outputs a powerful flash with a quick refresh rate. And it also looks good with the black M6. By the way, for most of these products that I mentioned, I'll put a link down in the description. Then we have the new watch that I bought just a couple of days ago. It's the G-Shock GA-B001. And I love this because it's all black with a nice dial. Some good functions on it, but the most important, it's durable because when it's crowded it's nice to have a watch that can handle a beating and that matches with the black outfit that I wear when shooting on the streets or at events. This keeps also a low profile unless everybody is wearing a different color than you might want to dress otherwise. Like on King's Day here in the Netherlands everybody wears orange. You need to drink also a lot of water which is coming out of the sky right now. Let me close the window before I record because I don't, I don't know how to be quiet. I also needed to adjust the camera a bit because it's getting dark out here. So you need to drink a lot of water because sometimes I walk for hours and hours. So then I'll bring a bottle if I have a backpack. If I don't, then I make sure that I stop for water pretty frequently. If you follow me on Instagram or you are a subscriber to this channel, you must have seen me with the fanny pack that I'm always wearing, like all the time. I've had this one for years now and it still looks okay and does a great job with carrying all the stuff that I need very quickly. I put the film cases in here, the flash and the cord and everything else like my wallet and my passport. Also in this bag I put some spare batteries for the GoPro, some lens wipes, extra batteries for the flash and some earplugs if there's a lot of loud music. And that brings us to the GoPro that I use for all of my run along episodes. It's the GoPro Hero 11 and I upgraded this from the GoPro Hero 8, which has made a big difference in quality. And a lot of people ask me, how do I wear this? Because it looks like it's just attached to my hoodie or my shirt. Well, it's attached to a rope chain that's called a snap mount. You put the GoPro on the magnetic holder and then you put a rope chain below your shirt. It's a strong magnet so it will even hold with a thick sweater. But there are also some things that I just hate about it. The GoPro pulls down the shirt which just doesn't look nice. And also the rope chain needs to be pretty tight when I want the GoPro to line up on my chest. And after a couple of hours it also hurts around my neck which annoys me. So I want a solution for this. Now I was thinking the best way 
would be to have a harness below my shirt with also a magnetic holder. Then there's no rope around my neck and I also don't have to wear a harness over my clothes. I couldn't find any, so I tried something out for myself. I've got this GoPro harness which came with the GoPro Hero 8 a couple of years ago and of course I got this snap mount. For the time being I will try with some gecko tape to attach the magnet from the snap mount on top of the harness. I'm going out today and tomorrow to shoot some film on the street and if this works I might want to glue everything together and make it more sturdy. So stay tuned for that. If you want to know how this goes follow me on Instagram and I'll keep in touch about all of this and if it fails or this is just the perfect combo. And that's really it about what I take with me on some street work. I try to keep it as light as possible but also keep a low profile. I hope this episode was fun to watch and helpful for those who also like to run around with a camera. Stay tuned for some upcoming street and event photography. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button because that will help me out a lot. But for now thanks for watching. Let's go out and shoot some film even though the weather isn't working with me, but we'll deal with it. Peace.